So one way that you can think of line following is uh, a set of very simple instructions. So I have my robot here and it has a light sensor on it. And currently it is seeing 72% of reflected light. And over to the side of this robot, there is the black line. And the black line is seeing some very low percentage, either zero or somewhere around there. And in between, there are some numbers between zero and 75. So the simplest way to think about line following uh, is that you don't actually follow the line itself, the zero line. Because if you said, OK, drive forward while you are on the zero line, uh, eventually you'll come off the line. But the problem is in this situation, I fall off the line on uh, this side of the line. But if my robot was tilted just a little bit, I would go forward and come off the line on the other side. So there's no way to figure out which side you would come off of to give the robot its next piece of instruction, which would be turn back towards the line. So what we can do instead of that is instead of trying to follow the thick part of the line, we can try to follow the edge of the line where our sensor is half in and half out of the of the line so here on the wood we're receiving 72 percent here on the dark section we're receiving zero percent and somewhere in between here if i there you go we're seeing something like 37 percent so one very simple algorithm for line following is if i see a number that is bigger than 35 I want you to go forward and to the left a little bit. So I'm going to do use the W and A key to simulate that. So forward and left. All right, now, if I see a number that's less than 35, I want you to go forward and right a little bit. I'm going to hit W and D for that. So now it needs to go forward and left. Now it needs to go, now it's right on, so we'll just kind of go, okay. So now it needs to go forward and right. Now it needs to go forward and left, and now forward and right. Now, if I do this, if I alternate doing this enough times, the robot actually sort of shuffles forward following the line very slowly. So I can use that concept right there to create a piece of software that will do that process back and forth for me without me having to drive the robot. And that is what I will go over in the next video.